Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a very quick and easy project today. I'm creating some little Halloween tags to go on some Halloween goodie bags that I'm gonna be creating for some friends of my children. And I just thought this was kind of cute and it was quite easy to do. So I have the Mama Elephant Framed Tags Union Square Die and this really cute MFT Stamps Fabulous Friends. I have gone ahead and stamped and cut out and colored my images and also all of my tags, I've die cut them from this, this purple cardstock. So I have eight pieces with the kind of lifter flap part and eight solid pieces. Now I'm taking a couple of stamps from that MFT stamp set. This is a little spider and spider's web and using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink, I'm going to stamp on top of that with these little images. Now, once I've got them placed into my um, stamping platform, I can just go ahead and repeat the process for each tag. So I don't need to kind of reposition my stamps each time. The same goes for the back piece here. I'm doing a little bit of stamp surgery because I want this sentiment that says a treat for you, but it was a bit long as it was. So I want it stacked. So I cut it apart and I'm just lining it up on my little tag. This is the back piece of the tag, so the solid piece without the lifter flap. And again, I'm using that VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I'm just gonna stamp it out. Now, once again, once it's positioned, I can just bring in the next tag and do it kind of production line style so they get all of them done. Now you will see that my little spider has a kind of web that strings him from the actual spider's web to his body. I just use my Copic Black Multi-Liner to add that little line in for each tag. Now I'm taking this other sentiment that says, um, you're fabulous, I believe. And I'm just, I just want the boo part of that. So I'm kind of lining it up again um, into my stamping platform. And I'm gonna do some masking this time. Now there were two kind of hyphens on either side of the boo that were very close. So I couldn't trim this one apart without kind of ruining the stamp for good. So this time I'm doing some masking. So I've just got this little piece of um, purple tape and I'm gonna mask off the um, other parts that I don't want. And I'm going to just again, use my ink, make sure that you lift those marks masks even off before you um, put your stamp down as you'll get black smudges everywhere. But again, it's the same process. I can do this production line style. I just have to keep reattaching those masks each time. Again, I'm bringing my Copic multi-liner out and I'm just gonna add an exclamation mark to that boo. Um, just wanted it to kind of be shouted <laughs> rather than spoken. And now I'm just using some liquid glue to attach the front to the back of each tag. So each one has got the back piece, which says a treat for you. This front piece with the lifter flap with the little spider on it. And then inside it says boo, which I'll show you here in a sec. And there we go. So I'm gonna repeat that process for each one. And now it's just a case of attaching my little images inside the lifter flaps. So there are eight little ghost images in this stamp set. So hence I made eight cards and I'm just gonna put a different ghost inside each um, little tag. So where I live, we have a little um, Halloween tradition where you kind of leave a little gift basket of treats outside your neighbor's door, um, any neighbor obviously with children, and um, you leave a little sign in it that says you've been booed, and the idea is that that person then repeats the process for a different neighbor so that everybody gets a little goodie basket, and I think it's kind of sweet. So I may well add some of these tags onto those little baskets that I'm gonna create as well. And um, yeah, I just think that these are kind of just a, I mean, you don't need to put tags on these things. <laughs> Probably the kids won't even look at them, but they're kind of fun to make anyway. And I really love this stamp set. As I say, it's um, been in my stash for a long time. I think it was one of the first stamp sets that I ever bought and um, I absolutely adore it. These little ghosts are so cute. So now I'm just pulling out some purple twine that I have. I'm cutting these quite long um, because obviously I want to tie them onto my little Halloween treat bags. So I'm keeping them long, threading the looped end through the tag and then um, kind of fastening it onto the top of the tag. I'll repeat that for all eight. 
And here is my little Halloween goodie bag that I've kind of filled up. <laughs> I didn't have much of my cupboard. I need to go shopping for Halloween treats. Um, so I'm just going to wrap the twine around, um, loop it around a few times and then tie it in a bow to secure it to the little treat bag. And again, as I say, I don't know, I don't know if the kids are really going to notice it because they just want to rip into the sweets, don't they? But I had a lot of fun making it and I think it's kind of cute. I hope you enjoyed this one today. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And please subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you come back and join me again. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Take care. Bye.